So, you guys look pretty good. I'm gonna talk about something today that is one of my favorite topics, I think because it's a little bit controversial, right? Online booking. I've already talked to some people that are like, oh, no, 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 no. I don't want online booking. You might change your mind after this, I'm hoping. Table one, I'm looking at you over there, all right? Okay, so I'm gonna make you guys work a little bit. So I want you guys to think about your Facebook page, your website, or even your Yelp page, and if you have a way for your customers to book you online. So if you currently have online booking, I want you to stand up. Anybody who has online booking in the room, you brave souls. Awesome. Okay, so look around. These are all our online booking peeps. Now I'm gonna test you guys. So if you have pictures on all of your service items, you have pictures, really pretty pictures, I want you to stay standing. If you don't currently have pictures, take a seat. Okay, got some pretty good numbers. All right, last test, this is the big one. If you currently have your pricing visible on your service items, stay standing. If you don't show pricing, take a seat. Oh, yes, okay, give yourselves a round of applause, thank you. The rest of you, look around. These are your coaches, okay? So I'm just one person, I would love to help you all, but look around, these are your, your folks who have really done the work. Right? All right, so everyone can take a seat. So the pricing one gets tricky, and we'll talk about that a little bit today. Um, and for those of you who didn't stand today, it's okay. We're all scared at one point, right? There's a little fear. It's totally okay. So who here is brave enough to say, yeah, I I'm, I'm fearful of online booking. I don't like it. Okay, cool. All good. I still love you. Okay, so how many of you know what this symbol is here? Duh. How many Prime members in the house? Yeah. Right? Got those packages on your doorstep in two days, toilet paper, dog food, makeup, whatever you want. My husband wants to kill me. There's probably some of you guys out there. Your husband's driving crazy, right? Perfect. Well, the good news is, is that you guys are not alone. You're among 310 million other Amazon members. Now, why do you think that everybody loves Amazon? It's easy. It's convenient. I can buy stuff at two in the morning if I want to, right? Maybe I have a bottle of wine, then I really get good putting stuff in my cart, right? Amazon makes it convenient. You can get anything that you want at any time that you want, whether a business or a, a, a vendor is open, you don't have to talk to anybody. You're in control of your purchases, right? Well, I'm here because I want to convince you guys that your business and your services are no different. 310 million people participate in this world. Why wouldn't they participate in that type of world when it comes to your business? Okay, I heard it gives me anxiety out there somewhere. I love you for that, and don't worry, we're here to help, okay? All right, so I'm gonna tell you guys a little story. Now, if some of you know me pretty well. Others, this may be the first time that, that you've met me. But if you do know me, you know that I'm the kind of girl who I just know what I want and I go get it. Like I'm not, I'm not scared of that, right? And so it didn't change, that wasn't any different when it came time for me to buy a car. In fact, I was like pretty freaking excited about it, right? Because I used to be in sales. I'm like, oh, I know all the tricks. It's going to be great. I know exactly what I want, right? I wanted a 2018 Ford Escape, gunmetal gray, all-wheel drive with a sunroof. That's what I wanted. That's it. And so when you, how many people have shopped for a car in like the last year or two? Where's the first place you go to look for the car you want? The internet, online. You want to look at pictures, you want to look at numbers, you want to look at specs, you want to look at colors, all the fancy stuff that you don't want, right? And you're like, no, I don't need all that. And you print out, at least I did, I printed out the car that I wanted and I brought it to the lot, right? Now there's a little story that goes into that, so my husband, love him to death, I'm like, I got a game plan, okay? We're like good cop, bad cop. I'm like giving him his instructions. I've got a script for him. I'm telling him when I'm gonna talk, when he's gonna talk, right? We got like war paint on, you know the feeling. You're driving in the dealership and you're like, all right, come mess with me, right? And so we ended up, I walk up to the sales guy and I'm like, I want these two cars. These are the only ones that I want. I have them printed out, the colors, the specs, everything. And he's like, all right, all right. Those cars are on our used lot, which are across the street, but I do have a couple that are similar that I can show you. Okay, all good. So we get to the cars, we're sitting in them, and I'm like, I told my husband, I'm like, don't act like you like it. Just 
just do this, right? And so we get in the cars, and the ones that we sat in were gunmetal gray. They had all-wheel drive. But then they had Apple Play. That's pretty cool. I have a 20-mile commute on the way to work. I need my podcasts and my Pandora, right? Then it also had the panoramic sunroof that went all the way back for all those camping trips that we take. That would definitely come in handy so we could see the stars. And it had voice control, so I didn't even need to press a button. And to be honest, that's just freaking cool, right? So I'm like, OK, this is kind of cool. So fast forward, by the end of it all, we go into the office, we sit down, and I'm like, OK, this is the car that we want. Do you think that I got the car that I set out to get? No. And I paid like seven grand more <laughs> for all that cool shit, right? But it wasn't any, it, everybody won in that situation, right? I got the value that I wanted with Apple Play and panoramic sunroof and voice control. And the sales guy also got what he wanted, right? And you guys, yes, commission, you guys are no different. You're the experts. You know what the customers need, right? And so you need to be able to recommend that to them, right? And so, but the whole time, my point of this is going back to the illusion of control. That whole purchase, I felt like I was in control. But I wasn't. And you want your customer to feel the exact same way. It's the same reason you all are Amazon Prime members. You want to be in control of your purchases at what time you want at the price that you're looking for. Is that true? Is that fair? OK. So your customers are no different. So we need to think about how to give them the illusion of control to make them comfortable with these purchases. OK? So I'm going to geek out on a little bit of data, but I promise this is the only one, so just bear with me. So the market, right, the consumer market is broken up into two pieces here, OK? So you have the early market, which is on the left, and then you have the mainstream market here. Now the early market, this is full of really cool words, innovators, early adopters, right? How many people want to be an innovator? Yeah, OK. A few of you, not yet. That's OK. Maybe by the end. right? And then over here, you have early majority, late majority, and then no one wants to be a laggard. Wah, wah, right? So my question to you is, in this, in this curve, who's getting the most value? Right? Yeah, it's the people over here. right? So the innovators, the early adopters, their value curve is steep. These are the guys that got in on Facebook and Twitter and all that right before it was anything. right? And then, now don't get me wrong, the people that are in the, the, the mainstream market, they get value too, but their curve just isn't as steep, right? And so you guys right now, today, are right here. You have a chance still to be an innovator of your industry, to be an early adopter of online booking. Now you guys are probably like, okay, data, cool, I'm on a curve, great, Janelle, what the hell does this mean? How many of you think about how to win over your competition. Raise your hand. OK, if everybody's hands up right now, you're just tired or something, because you are always thinking about how to win against your competition. That's why you do what you do. In fact, you guys probably have competitors in this room. So I'm telling you, this is your silver bullet, guys. Because soon, the service industry, every single website will have to have a way for customers to book online. If you don't, bye-bye. Because that's how customers are using, used to making purchases. You all do it every single day. So why make your customers behave in a different way that's not as comfortable or familiar? OK, so we're going to move on. I want you guys to get out your phone. I know you all have them. Get out your phone. Open up your calculator for me. OK, get your phone out. Open up your calculator. We're going to plug in a couple numbers. So the first number that I want you guys to plug in is 7.4. Now, 7.4 is the average number of extra jobs the pros that we coach using online booking get per month. So 7.4. Now you're going to multiply that by 400. 400 is the average ticket price of jobs running through our online booking. So what's 7.4 times 400? Someone shout it out. $2,960. Is there anyone in this room who would turn down a check if I wrote it to you right now for $29.60? Let's do it. 
We'll get you on online booking in about 20 minutes. Okay? Now, I live in California where it's really expensive. That pays my mortgage. All right? Now, that's just the average number of extra jobs you can get by just having online booking and doing the things that I'm going to coach you through today. Okay? All right. So let's move on. So the benefits of online booking. There are a few of them. The first one is confidence. Now, this doesn't just mean walking around with confidence. I mean, it could. But you have the confidence of knowing that a customer who wants to buy online is not going to window shop you and bounce off your website and move on to the next guy. Perfect example of this, I wanted to get my palm trees trimmed. We have four palm trees in our front yard. We need to get them trimmed every year. Well, I wake up at 4.50 in the morning. That's the time my alarm goes off. Do you think there are any tree trimmers open at 4.50 in the morning that I can call and make an appointment? Hell no. So what I try to do is go on Yelp or websites and find something that I can just book while I'm up doing my morning routine so I can just book that appointment. Couldn't find any. So now what happens is I go to work. I have to wait for a business to open in order for me to stop my day, call him, probably won't get the guy on the first try, leave a voicemail, then wait for him to call me back right when I'm in the middle of a meeting, of course, right? Now we're just playing this phone tag game. Do you think that's an easy experience for me or convenient? That's not Amazon, right? So it gives you the confidence of knowing if that you have customers who want to book online, you're set. Okay, the next one, take a vacation. Who's taken a really memorable vacation in the last year? A few of you. Okay, now another question. Why are you guys fearful to take a vacation? Because you got a business to run. You got to answer the phone, right? You got to talk to your customers. You got to make sure everything's running right. Well, imagine this. Imagine you're in a, in a beach chair cabana in Cancun, drinking some fruity drink, right? And you got your laptop out. Guess what? Customers are still booking. And you don't have to talk to anybody, which also is going to cut down your phone time. Think of how many customers you currently have that you know like doing business with you. And imagine if just half those customers didn't have to call you to book every single time. They knew that they could just go to your website because they love you already. And they could book an appointment that's convenient for them. Imagine the phone time that would save you during the day. Next, customer expectation. We talked about this, right? We buy everything on Amazon. I don't know the last time I went to a mall either, by the way. Kind of creepy now. Right? You buy everything online. It's the customer expectation. And lastly, win over your competition. We talked about this a little bit. Guys, think about your competitors. Go on their website. This is a way that you have a leg up on them to be an early adopter and an innovator. And your customers are already experiencing this modern technology on your website, your Facebook page, booking when they want to, okay? So now that we talked about the benefits, there are four Ps, I want you guys to write these down, four Ps to making your online booking successful. The first one is promotion. This means you have to actually tell your customers you accept online scheduling now. If you don't tell them, they don't know. The next one is personable. I want you guys to think back to when you got into this business and you said, damn it, I can do it better myself. And you are the reason that your business is successful because people connect with people. So you want your online booking to be personable. We'll talk about what that means. Next, pictures. Guys, when's the last time you bought something online without a picture? Exactly. Never. Okay, and last, this one is one I get pushed back on, and that's okay, we'll talk about it, but pricing. You've got to tell your customers how much even just one thing on your price list costs. Who's going to buy something online if you don't know how much it costs? Kind of sketchy. Okay? All right, so let's talk about promotion. I'm going to give you guys some really easy ways to promote your online booking to your customers. The first one, you got to get it. Very easy. <laughs> Second, this is my favorite absolute favorite tip update your voicemail so how many of you want to think you, you think to a job that you were on and let's say you were carrying something or you're cleaning something and your phone's right here and your phone rings and your first thought is oh, that could be money flying away 
because I can't get to the phone. Or if I do go answer it, I gotta set this down and now it's not a great customer experience. But imagine if you set your voicemail to say, hey, I'm not, I can't answer the phone right now, I'm out in the field working, but you can go to my website, www.whatever.com, and book an appointment that's convenient for you. In fact, I'll even give you 10% off if you book online. Thanks, have a nice day. Guess what I'm doing as a customer? Okay, that sounds easy. It protects you, so you don't have to worry about your phone ringing and you not being able to get to it at any hour. Okay, next, post it on Facebook. So if you have online booking now, <clears throat> how many of you have a Facebook page right now? Great, you have a platform, let's use it. Post on Facebook once a week, just once a week, that you now offer online scheduling. You gotta tell your customers they can do it. And we're trying to change their behavior, right? So just once a week, post that. Next, your email signature. How many of you send out emails on a daily basis? Does your email signature have your website in it? Good, tell people to click on it. Go book your appointments, right? So you can put just a little book online right above your website. And then last, your business cards. So the next time you guys go to update your business cards, slap the two words on there, book online. Okay, I'm gonna show you some examples of some of these, okay? So the first one is an email signature. So he created a little link that says schedule now. If you click that, it goes right to his website. I can schedule whenever I want. Next, this was <laughs> one of our pros who changed his voicemail. One day, changed his voicemail. One, two, three, four bookings. Not bad for just changing your voicemail after 24 hours. Okay, next, this is another example of a business card. So the next time you guys, uh, your, your order comes up or you're running a little low, this is an example, just throw it right above your website. How many of you just ordered business cards and you're so mad right now? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> it's all good. All right, and then this is another one. If you guys really want to get crazy with it, slap it on your truck wrap. You're driving around all day. Tell people they can go to your website and book you online. Okay? And then last, this is Cassie. She even has this on her website. She posts this at the bottom of her newsletters as well, letting her customers know that they can book online. You guys have a good rapport with your customers. It's a great opportunity to tell them how modern and advanced your company is. Okay? All right. Yep. That's right. But we're always evolving, right? As humans and as business, we want to grow and develop and evolve, right? Okay, so let's talk about personable and what that means. First things first, please use real photos, guys. We can tell when it's a plumber off of Google that's never plumbed anything in his life, and he's just squeaky clean, turning the wrench. We know that's not you. How many of you have pictures in your phone right now of you doing the work in the field? Great, use them. That's why we love doing business with you, because we know who you are. Okay, second, use your language, right? So don't try to write these big fancy paragraphs of what things are. I don't know what that means. I just know my toilet's leaking. Just come fix it. Okay, and then last, have fun. Guys, it's not this big serious thing that's gonna like be super scary, right? Have fun with it. I'll show you some examples of having fun. So this is John Salvadori, God I love him. He's a restoration company, and these are the pictures that he has on his online booking. Now I would book John just because of how much freaking fun he's having doing his job. Like he wakes up in the morning and is so pumped to go dry carpets. Right? He has pictures of him and his team, so I know if I see them, I'm like, hey, I saw you online. Some of you guys probably feel that way about me. You see my face a few times on the website, you're like, oh, she actually works here. That's cool. Same thing. Okay? Here's some more pictures of him and his team. This is one of my favorites. I don't even know who's taking these, but it's great. You guys bring your kids with you or your family on your jobs, have them take pictures of you. Okay? All right, now... We're gonna get, I'm gonna give you a, a story and an example. We're gonna go back to Amazon. So I kid you not, this is something that I have had my eye on on Amazon for probably six months now. And it is a Bissell spot cleaner for carpets. I'm dead serious. And it's 140 bucks, okay? Now if I go to my Amazon cart and I look up this Bissell spot cleaner with cord or vac or whatever it is, and there's no picture, am I gonna buy that? Heck no, but now, 
that I will buy. And it's even got the little side pictures of the lady like this on her drapes. And I'm like, I didn't even think of that. I could be me. I'm waiting for my husband to buy it. He thinks it's a trick, but I'm still waiting. It's definitely not a trick. I really do want it. So my point is, is that you guys are not going to buy something unless there's a picture. In fact, when you see things that say, no picture available, you kind of just skip past it, right? You want the Amazon one where you can see every angle. You do the 360, whatever the hell you're buying. It's like one knife. How many angles could there be? Right? But you love it. Okay? So put pictures on your, on your, on your uh, service list. Next, price. How many of you disagree with me right off the bat that hell no, Janelle, will I put prices online for everyone to see? Raise your hand. It's all good. I still love you. There's a few of you. Okay. We got it out in the open now. You're not alone, right? And a lot of you are thinking, probably, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't want to put my prices out there because my competitor will come in and undercut me. And it's a race to the bottom. Okay? Guys, I am going to challenge you to tell you that people who are shopping online don't go to the cheapest thing that they see. They go near the top because that's where the value is. And I know that it's scary, okay? I get that. I'm with you. But if you can just bring yourself to put how much a service, how much do you guys charge for a service call? Who does service calls here? Yell it out. 60 bucks. 50, 49. Great. Let's start small. Just put that. Just put on your service call item, it costs 60 bucks to get you to me. I'm good with that. And I know that the cost will change from there, but at least I know what I'm booking. You guys ever seen something online that says call for price? Has anyone in the history of anything ever called? No, because that means it's expensive or it's sketchy or they don't want to tell me something. There's no transparency. It's weird. Don't do that. Just put one price. I challenge you with that today. Okay? So your price, we just talked about, is going to create transparency. It's going to eliminate haggling. How many of you have customers who haggle the hell out of you when you get to the house? How many of us like that? Yeah, hands go down, except for you because I think you're tired. Right? No one likes to be haggled. So by putting a price, just one, you eliminate the haggling that your customer will give you when you get there. Okay? And then last, it builds trust, guys. It's sketchy when you don't put prices. I don't know what I'm booking. You could come to my house and tell me it's 100 bucks. My budget was only 80. That's okay. Right? But it doesn't feel good for me when you come and I'm like, I don't know how much it's going to be. I'm already uncomfortable because you're in my house and I don't know crap about plumbing. Right? Okay. So next, this picture, this is one of my favorite pictures. And I think because... This experience, this is a customer here, it's kind of dark, you can't see, but she's opened the door, welcoming the service pro. She knows exactly who he is. She was expecting him. He's smiling. He's engaged in that conversation. You guys ever been a part of those awkward interactions with your customer where they're like, yeah, yeah, just come in, and, right? It's kind of weird. Everybody wants their interactions to be like this. Well, you can get that, right? Online booking is going to create trust is a huge word in your industry and everyone's trying to figure it out. Online booking will create trust with your customers. I can see pictures of you. I know how much you charge. I pick the time and day that you're coming. I've probably talked to you on the phone because once you get my booking, you're going to call me and confirm. Instant trust. Okay? So we're going to do a little exercise, speaking of trust. We're going to look at two websites. So look at your four Ps that you wrote down. And we're going to go through and vote if we think that these websites generate trust to their customers. Okay? So the first one is just an HVAC website. So what's the first P? Promotion. Is there anywhere on here that says, I can book online or I can do something? There's like a Facebook button, kind of. Make click on that. What's the next one? Personable. Is there anything that says personable on this site? No. What about pictures? There's a picture of a Goodman air conditioning and heating unit. Do I know what that is? No. Does that mean anything to me? No. Yeah, right? Okay, and then, and then oops, sorry, let's go back. And then what about price? Is there anything about a special or how much a service call costs or anything there? No. 
So I'm out. I'm going to the next one. Now imagine the next site looks like this. Promotion. Is there anywhere that tells me I can book online or call or what to do? Yes, up there, book online, instant online booking. Ooh, I like that, just like my Amazon, right? Then what about personable? Father and son owned and operated, and then their adorable little picture here? Aren't they the cutest? I know, that's how I feel, right? You throw some puppies on your homepage, I am definitely doing business with you, okay? And then they've even went the extra mile and put their awards Right? If you guys are certified through BBB or Angie's List or you're a super pro, slap that stuff on there. It means something to us. It creates trust. Okay? Have I changed anybody's mind just a little bit yet? One hand. Oh, okay. I got one. Oh, a couple more. Okay, I'm doing good. All right, still got to work on this side of the room. All right. <laughs> I will hold your hand. I've done it for many years. Okay. So now, even on the price list here, this is like advanced. He's put pictures of his actual text on the service items. So that if one of them shows up to my house, you're right, oh, I saw you on the website. You know, often people say that to me, and it feels good, right? Oh, I saw you on the website. You actually work here. Cool. Same thing. They'll be more likely to trust you, invite you in their home, and the experience gives them the illusion of control. Okay, now if you guys are probably thinking, oh, I don't like my picture, good thing we have headshots today. Got you covered. Okay? All right, so we can Photoshop your pictures. So this is one of my very, very, very favorite house call pros. Yes, that is a horse in this picture. This is my mom. Okay? Aw, I got some softies over here. I like that. Now, my mom, she actually does equine massage, which means she is like a chiropractor for horses and a masseuse. Okay, just let that sit in your brain for a second. So she travels around to different barns and she works on these horses. They're athletes. Many of them have competed in, in Olympics, right? My mom is awesome. And so two years ago, my mom was using Google Calendar, QuickBooks, some paper thing, some other app thing, and she even had a black book, okay? And I would call her at night, and she would say, I'd be like, what are you doing? She's like, oh, I'm just sitting here invoicing. And I'm like, mom, you know what I do, right? You're killing me. And it took me two years. So I'm not as good of a salesperson as I thought, honestly. It took me two years to even get her to use house call, I swear to you, because she was fearful like many of you probably were at that time or could be right now about online booking. And I finally convinced her to switch over and it took her about six months to finally get over to House Call to get a Yelp page, which I built for her, to put online booking on her website, which we also built for her, and her Facebook page. Now my mom services barns in Washington, Vegas, and California. And guess how her customers book her? You think she takes that many phone calls with just her? Ew. They book her online. So if my mom, who is a stubborn Italian woman, if she can do this, my point is that you guys can too. I know you're scared. I've witnessed it firsthand, painful, for two years. Okay? So next, we're just going to mention something pretty new at House Call. So I want you guys to pay attention because there's going to be two groups here. So if you currently have a website that you're happy with, you're gonna want house call online booking, which we just talked about. Now, how many of you in here don't have a website right now? It's okay, raise your hand, if there's anybody. How many of you have a website but you just hate it and you don't even know how to log into the damn thing? Okay, think of your web guy, you can never get in touch with him, okay. So for you guys, you're going to want something very new that house call does called website builder. I think there were a couple emails, you guys have probably seen this. So we can build you a modern website with online booking that you are in control of when you log in and make changes. It's gonna automatically generate and uh, uh, show all customer reviews and give you an online booking engine. And guess what, I'm gonna bet you that we can build that website in under 10 minutes. So for those of you who don't believe me, this is an actual website on our website builder being built and it's gonna take us under five actually. So you're just going to sign in with your email, you're gonna choose a domain, 
You're going to choose your industry. There's my face again. Then you're going to put your company name, which is Smart Search through Google. So we'll even do you one up there. Then you're going to start to enter your company name, your address, right? So again, Google's going to pop up. How many of you are already saying, like, oh, I need this? A few of you. Okay, cool. So now you're going to put how many employees you have. Super easy. You're going to put your name, your email, your, per your password, right? You're going to create that. Okay, just give it a second here. How am I doing on time? Under five minutes still? Okay, good. All right, now we're creating a domain. So if you want to search for a domain, we'll tell you if that domain's available. For those of you wondering, can I transfer my domain over to this? Yes, we can pull your current domain. Okay, now you're going to even choose pictures, and we'll give you pictures based on the industry you selected. So you can put these as a placeholder until you put all your really nice personable photos, right? And you can watch on the right your site being built as the pictures are being loaded, as your information is being added. It's going to build it on the right, and you'll even get some confetti popping out at some point. You'll see that here. It'll make you feel really good, right? So you see the site being built. You see the online booking engine over here on the right-hand side with some times and dates. Okay, you guys think you could do this so far, fill in this information? Kind of similar to when you signed up for house call, right? Put your phone number. We'll even give you a paragraph about businesses. So like if you're a cleaning business, an HVAC business, we've already written stuff for you that you can just go in and add to or edit. We've made it super easy, guys. Okay, you'll see the site on the right. Again, you're going to choose your time windows. You're going to choose what days you want to be able to be booked. You're going to say if you're, uh, what your license number is, if you are insured, all that good stuff that you want to tell your customers to create trust. You can even decide your service area and tell your customers what areas you service. Okay? We're getting toward the end here. What time am I at? Like three minutes? Okay, we're going to put in a little bit about uh, testimonials. Who has customer testimonials right now? Yeah, slap those on there. Those are great. Right? So you can add some of those. Okay, and then those are going to populate over there on the right-hand side. Right? Now you can even ask frequently asked questions. How many of you guys answer the phone and you have the same damn question being asked all day long? Put it in your FAQs. Put it right there on your website. It'll save you a ton of time. I think this one says she cleans the best houses or something. Okay, so we're getting pretty close. Give me a second here. Sites being loaded on the right. We're going to add a few more little pictures that you guys probably have on your phone or your desktop. Give me some confetti. Come on. Look at those pictures. So professional. Boom, there's the confetti, okay? Now you can choose your time windows for online booking. So again, you guys are in complete control, but it's about giving your customer the illusion of control. So just put a couple times during the week that they can book, okay? Bam, what does that say? Congrats, we just built you a website. All right, so for those of you who raised your hand, who don't currently have a website or you're not happy with it, Website builder is the way to go. If you already have a website, you're functioning, you love it, you don't need this. Okay? All right. Thank you. I'm going to take a few questions. I think I'm well over my time. Ruben, don't kill me. I'm going to take three questions, and then you guys can come find me if you have more questions about online booking today. Do I have any questions? Yeah. So it's basically, uh, we can, it's kind of, I can explain it, but it'll recognize your bo the bookings you already have, so you won't get double booked. So it'll just show as like unavailable, right? Any other questions? Yeah, right here in the gray. Are you saying, if I'm understanding you correctly, so you're saying if I get booked for a job in 40 miles away and I'm over here, that's a great question. Probably the most, the most uh, uh, common question we get so my counsel to you is that even if, let's say you get a job that's booked for Friday, right, next Friday, but your calendar doesn't quite line up, call the customer. Hey, you know what? I'm actually going to be in your area on Tuesday. I can get a guy out then. Does that work for you? But the difference is the job is already booked. They didn't just submit their name and a phone number for you to call. They're already connected to your business. And it's fine if you call me and say, hey, I can come earlier, or hey, I got the guy you need that'll come out on Saturday. So that does happen, but it's okay. You're still going to call your customer and have that conversation. But the difference is they're now connected and in your calendar. Does that 
Make sense? Okay. One more question. They won't be able to pay uh, here online when they book, but if you call them, you can always take a deposit. Yep, so as soon as they book, you definitely, hey, I saw you booked online. I just want to learn a little bit more about, you know, the job you requested. Go over that, and then, okay, it's just our policy to collect 50% deposit upon booking, something like that. Okay? All right, one more, then we're done. So website builder, I'm, I'm glad that you asked that. Website builder has two plans, okay? So there's a flat fee plan, and then there's a usage plan, okay? So the flat fee plan, you're just going to pay 25 bucks a month, period. That's just how it goes. Or you can pay $49 a month, and the kicker is you only pay $49 if you get booked online. You don't get a job booked, you don't pay, because we don't feel like we delivered enough value for you. Does that sound like a fair deal? Now remember, I told you, you get seven and a half jobs per month if you do things right. But if you don't get one, then you don't pay for that month. Is that fair? Okay, I'm seeing head nods, that's good. Okay, I gotta wrap it up, they're gonna yell at me. Um, but if you guys wanna come talk to me, I'll be at the online booking table, I'll have my laptop, we can talk. Um, we can talk website builder or online booking. Thank you.